So Wellness Wednesday, we're going to talk about how can you drink your way, drink your way to eliminating any viruses. Um, there was a little quote, there was a little post uh, from a uh, Japanese physician in regards to what you can do on a daily basis to make sure you don't get any, any type of virus infections, corona, flu, uh, influenza, um, the common cold, you know, what can you do to prevent yourself from getting the virus? And actually it's a simple thing as drinking water. The more water you drink, the less likely you will be, you will have that virus or bacteria infection. And so how does that work? So when we breathe in our nose or we, put, we, we stick our hands in our mouth and we transfer bacteria or viruses and you know it can go the virus can go one of two ways. It can go down your esophagus or it can go down your trachea. Well basically what, it, what that means is it can go down to your digestive system or it can go down to your respiratory system. Or another way of saying it is it can go down to your stomach or it can go into your lungs, right? So let's just think about this. If the virus or the bacteria travels down to your lungs, what's gonna happen, right? Your lungs, especially if you have allergies. If you have allergies, you already got mucus. It's like it's like a breeding ground for you know for bacteria and viruses to grow in, right? So if your virus or the bacteria actually ends up into your trachea, it goes into your respiratory tract, goes into your lungs, um, you actually can start developing pneumonia, uh, you know, bronchitis, and so forth. On the other hand, if the virus or the bacteria actually goes down your esophagus and it goes down, what's the next organ? It's your stomach. And what's in your stomach? Something super powerful that can kill anything. It's called stomach acid. So if you can actually, it doesn't matter if you breathe in the virus, you stick your hands, you know, you, 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 you bring in the bacteria through your mouth. If you can just get that virus and bacteria to go down your throat to your stomach, your stomach will do the job. It will kill it. 100% it will kill it. The acid in our stomach is like battery acid. It will kill anything. So how do you get it down your throat? How do you get down your throat into your stomach? It's a simple act of drinking water. So, you know, every 10, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you should be drinking a little cup of water just to make sure you're flushing any type of bacteria or viruses um, down instead of going into your lungs. It's going to go into your stomach where your stomach will kill it. So this simple trick can actually help you prevent you from getting any type of virus infections. All right. So I challenge you. Every 10, 15 minutes, drink just a little cup of water. It doesn't have to be eight ounce, it could be a little sip, but make sure that you're always moistening and you're pushing things down into your stomach, into that stomach acid to, to kill it, right? And so that's the beauty of our bodies. Our bodies are built perfectly. We just gotta utilize them more effectively, right? So drink more water. Drink more water to flush out the virus and the bacteria so it goes into your stomach and acid and it gets killed and eradicated, right? Now, if you have problems with your stomach acid, now that's another problem, okay? Uh, but that's not something we can help you with. We help a lot of people with acid reflux, uh, people who have acid problems. It's actually, you're not producing too much acid. You're actually producing not enough acid. That's actually the root cause of, of acid reflux. Most acid reflux is lack of acid, not too much acid. So you remember, we need that acid to kill the virus, kill the coronavirus, kill the flu, kill the common cold, kill bacteria, kill the cooties. You need that stomach acid. So if you need that extra help, give us a call, achieveintegrativehealth.com. Let's work on achieving greatness.